What's going on everybody? Tactical Production 7 here. So as we all know, Minecraft has been updated to 1.6.1 um, and that also means that we have a new launcher for Minecraft and what a new launcher means is there's a new way to install mods to Minecraft. Now this new way to install mods may be a bit confusing to some of you guys but it's really pretty easy. It's just a few added steps. Uh, it's nothing too crazy and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that today. So let's just go ahead and go over the new launcher briefly so we have the update notes of course just like it's always been in minecraft just what's going on with mojang and then we have the development console now this is pretty much all your coding what uh, java's running and everything but if you're in a server anything that's being said in the chat will also pop up on here so you can go back and look at it because i know when you're on a server it doesn't let you go all the way back to the beginning um, so that's a way you can check what's being said and anything like that will pop up in here it's pretty much the same thing as if you were to own a server um, you'll know what I'm talking about it's the same uh, thing going on here Then we have our profile editor uh, this is the name the version is using the latest version of Minecraft and my username Then we have the local version editor it's got your version type uh, your version name, the release date, the last time you modified that version, the library count, and then the sync status. So pretty much if it's up to date with the new updates and everything like that. Um, and then you can edit your profile, you can make a new profile, you can log out and play. Uh, the profile selection, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into that later because you're going to need that to make the mod work. So there you go, that's just a brief overview of the Minecraft launcher. So let's go ahead and get into how to install mods with the new launcher now. So of course, as always, you're going to need to go down to start, then type in percent app data percent, and that'll go ahead and open up your roaming folder. Then you're going to want to open up your dot Minecraft. Now this is where it's going to get a little bit different. Um, first off, I want to go ahead and show you how to open files with Notepad. Um, so let's go ahead and go here, and then I'll select Open. You're not going to want to do this step right now. I'm just showing you how to open files with Notepad if you're not able to. So if you can't open a file, this will come up, and it says Windows can't open this file. What do you want to do? You're going to want to click on the second bullet, select a program from a list of installed programs, then hit OK, and just go ahead and click on Program. Uh, on the program notepad and then hit OK and it will simply open it with notepad so that is how to open up files that are previously not able to be opened with notepad so now to get back into installing a mod what you're going to want to do once you open up your dot minecraft folder is go ahead and go into your versions folder now I'm going to be modding a snapshot version of 1.6 simply because that is the last um, version to have too many items to be able to be installed to it that is what I'm going to be installing just to demonstrate how to install mods with the new launcher for you guys so what you're gonna want to do is since I'm going to be modding version 13 w 19 a I'm going to want to right click that folder hit copy and then we're going to want to paste it back into this folder so it'll be 13 w 19 a copy and we're going to want to rename this. Now what I usually do is I do 13w19a and then just add modded to it so I know which one to select. So once that's there, um, again, or something you're going to want to do is go ahead and copy what you just renamed that. So once you have that, go ahead and open that up. And you're going to want to rename both of these files, the 13w19a modded as well. So if you had copied that text, you can just go ahead and paste it in here, just as like that, just to make it easier. So now these both say modded. Now, as I said before, you're going to want to open up this JSON file. So you're going to need to open the JSON file, and you're going to need to open it with Notepad. And you can see we have the version right here, 13w19a. You're going to want to rename that to 13w19a modded as well. And again, just so you guys don't get confused, this is just a version that I'm um, modding or putting a mod into. So that's why I'm using 13w19a. Uh, more than likely, when you guys are going to be installing mods to the 1.6, you'll be installing them to 1.6.1 or higher. So once you've changed this to 13w19a modded, you can go ahead and close that down and save it. 
So once you've renamed everything, you're going to want to open up your jar file. So go ahead and right click that. Do open with and open it with whatever archiving program you're going to use. I'm going to use WinR to open this. So those were the new steps. Now pretty much you're just going to install this. So you're not going to need this um, folder open anymore. So you can go and close that down. So once you have your jar open, go ahead and open up your too many items or whatever other mod you're going to be installing and install it how you normally would. So just do that. Make sure you want to delete meta inf, of course, as always. Delete files, hit yes. So once you've installed your mod and you've deleted meta inf, you can go ahead and close down that jar, the one that you've just modded. And you're going to want to open up your launcher. So once you have your launcher open, go ahead and hit edit profile. And this will bring your profile up. I'm going to change my profile name to tactical production 7. Oops. What am I doing? There we go. So now we have Tactical Productions 7. So that's what I've renamed this profile. Now you're going to want to select this box game directory and make sure it's in your roaming and your dot Minecraft folder. That's very important. And you want to go ahead and just enable experimental development versions or snapshots. Um, you're probably not going to have to do that because, again, you're going to be modded 1.6.1. I'm modding a snapshot, so I need to select that. Now, this is where you're going to select the version that you have modded. So go ahead and go through here. And you can see I have snapshot 13W19A modded. And this is the one that I have modded and I put too many items into. So if I go ahead and select that, it'll go ahead and use this version of Minecraft and then just go ahead and hit save profile so once you've done that you can go ahead and hit play and minecraft will launch go ahead and hop into my world here and i will show you that the mod is in fact installed so there you go too many items is installed um, this is how to install mods with the new launcher so i hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys if you need to Please, please go back through the video and uh, look over things again just to get it set on how exactly to install the mods. So again, if you need to, go back and look it over again. Make sure you know how to do this correctly. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.